On August 12th, Bellflower Park was officially rededicated as Edward R. Walsh Park in honor of the former councilman. City Council President Scott Marn welcomed city officials, friends, and members of the Walsh family who gathered to celebrate the occasion. Okay. As you all know, we're here for the grand rededication coinciding with the Walsh family reunion of Bellflower Park. Whenever I think of the city, city of Menor and the history of Menor, there's always two gentlemen that jump in my mind, Jim Struna and Eddie Walsh. I really have no idea where we would be in the city of Menor without this gentleman right here. Walsh served on Menor City Council for nearly 35 years. During that time, he oversaw Menor's transformation to the largest city in Lake County. Walsh advocated for growth and in industry to provide a strong tax base to support city services, recreation facilities, and infrastructure. But he also lobbied to improve Menor's quality of life by improving city services, reducing costs for services, and providing opportunities for recreation with the building of pools, parks, and playgrounds. In 1988, Walsh worked with the developer of Farmington Meadows to ensure that green space was set aside for a city park. In June of 1989, Bellflower Park was opened. Before cutting the ribbon on the newly named park, Ed Walsh took the microphone to thank all those in attendance and to comment on the community he loves. You know, you see Eddie Hughes, uh, who helped me, Richard Henning, started years ago together. I can go on and on. And my neighbor Larry and Sheila, and, and all my grandchildren, God love them, you know. And, uh, you know, it's a history when you look back and you say, Boy, you went through 39 years, and you met so many people in this city, and you haven't met a bad one yet. I mean, they will call you and give you their ear for But for the most part, you've got to learn that the people that you rub shoulders with every day are the kindest people in the world in minutes. They will help you. They'll go out of their way if they know there's trouble. So you can be very proud to live in this kind of a community. Thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you to council, and God bless you. The ceremony ended with the entire Walsh family cutting the ribbon for the newly named park and the Walsh grandchildren unveiling the sign bearing the new name, Edward R. Walsh Park. There we go.